Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back with another video So it's been a while since we've done this type of video and I know you guys love them because you guys get to learn what the meta is So today what we have for you guys is a top 10 brawlers in Brawl Stars list now before we get into that I just wanted to talk about my twitch a little bit. We are live every single day on twitch I would highly recommend downloading twitch and watching myself and other pros who stream daily because that is the best way to become a better player My link is gonna be one of the first links in the description below So make sure you guys download twitch drop a follow and with that being said Let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what the top 10 brawlers in brawl stars is so coming in at number 10 We actually have Leon now Leon probably took the biggest jump in brawlers from this update as he went from a very low brawler like 36 35 out of the 38 brawlers in the game to now number 10 now leon has a lot of things that are good about him right now his gadget got a really big kind of like rework but basically just a huge buff and on top of that leon just got his basic stuff like very high dps the fact that he can heal mid super if you have the star power but the main thing that got him to be a lot better is his gadget buff it's really good now that you have full health and now that now that they have to waste a ton of shots in order to take it out rather than just hit it once and if you play it properly they don't really know what the real one is now leon might not necessarily be a top 10 brawler but he is 100 the number one showdown brawler right now and because of that with him actually being decent and usable now in 3v3 we are going to give him the number 10 spot now coming in at number nine we have jackie now jackie's been on the top 10 list for quite some time even the top five list for quite some time but jackie is slowly making her way down the meta she was the best or second best brawler when she came out then she got a little bit of a nerf then another little nerf then another little nerf and she's slowly making her way down i wouldn't be surprised by if once we make the next video jackie doesn't even cut the top 10 list the reason jackie isn't really doing so well right now is because although her health is good although her damage remains the same and although her star power is good her gadget, which is what made her so strong, which is what allowed her to get so close to her enemies and completely take them out, has been nerfed. It only gives you a 20% speed increase, which if you're facing good players, they can kind of just walk away. You guys can see I'm not moving much faster than the rest of the brawlers, and I already used my gadget. So it's really not that great. But once you get close, as you guys can see from this gameplay right here, Jackie does shred. So it's still going to remain on the top 10. It's going to land number 9 for this video. So coming in at number 8, we have Sandy. Now Sandy, just like Jackie, has been on these top 10 lists for quite some time. Sandy made her way down and down after being number 1 from her release, but is slowly starting to make her way back up the meta. Her gadget is really the only thing that's holding her back right now, as the attack is really good, the super is really good, and although the gadget isn't terrible, it doesn't necessarily help during combat. You do just regen in about 2 seconds or 1 second, rather than the 2.8 or the 2.5 seconds it would take to naturally regen, so it doesn't really give you that big of a boost. But uh, although the fact that Sandy isn't really, you know, the strongest brawler, it is still a very good support brawler, still does help a ton when it comes to gameplay, including competitive 3v3 duo showdown and even showdown. And it's going to remain in the top 10 list and stay at number eight for this one today. Now, coming in at number seven, we have Tara. Now, just like Leon, Tara is another brawler that made a really huge jump in the meta as of recently. Um, so as you guys know, Tar did used to be one of the better brawlers in the game, was very, very dominant, and even got a really good gadget. Now, unfortunately, what happened is they made Tara take a few extra shots to get her card, or to get her super, sorry. And we guys, and we all know how important Tara's super is to her. And Tara also got a damage nerf, and it really just wasn't working out for Tara. But they did just give her a pretty good buff for each card. Or if you do hit all three cards, you do like 1900 or something. And on top of the gadget and the pretty good health, plus the current meta... Tara's actually moved pretty high up in, in the rankings. Now, a lot of the times, things such as what brawlers are really good does affect brawlers in the meta. For example, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. There is a certain brawler, which has been in every single list ever since we started these lists, that actually isn't going to be in the meta today. And it not isn't necessarily because it's so bad, but it's because the brawlers at the very top of the meta do hard counter it. But with that being said, Tara is a very good brawler. It's very good in a lot of modes right now. It's becoming more versatile. And I'm actually very happy that this brawler is back in the meta because it is a very game-changing brawler and does have one of the best 
top three easily best supers in the game. So that being said, that's going to round off number seven. Let's hop into number six and let's keep going. So coming in at number six, we have Max. Now, Max is actually one of the highest skilled brawlers in the game. Even though its shot is kind of just auto aim, the way you use the speed and the gadget is really high skilled and you can do a lot of cool things with it. In competitive, Max is used all the time and the gadget is used for a lot of resource plays, not just trying to get close to your enemy. And Max actually takes a lot of practice to become a real pro and really good player in. I, for one, am not that type of Max yet. I wish I was, but I'm not that good with Max. I haven't practiced it yet because every team I've been on, we've had a person who plays Max instead of me. But I'm hoping to be a really good Max soon. But anyways, it's a very good brawler. The gadget is very good. The super is very good. The shot is very good. Obviously, you have that speed. And it's just a very, very well-rounded brawler that's very good and goes really, really well with tanks and with other brawlers. It has really good synergy because of its super, and that makes it super useful in a ton of different comps. Now, this is going to be our number six brawler. It was hand-in-hand -hand with the number five. I really couldn't decide which one I wanted to put in the top five and which one I wanted to put six. But ultimately, this next brawler, obviously, we decided to put in the top five. So let's show you guys what it is and hop into it. So hopping in at number five, we have Carl. Now, Carl might just be the most well-rounded brawler in the game right now it does absolutely nothing wrong can do absolutely everything and it's actually really really good now the thing with carl before it was actually in the top 10 but then it took a pretty big drop because carl was a really well-rounded brawler but in every single situation there were always two or three brawlers that were just better than what carl could do but now carl is just super well-rounded you can play him in every single mode that goes bounty heist gem siege Every mode you can think of, showdown, duo showdown, anything you can do with Carl, it's just absolutely unreal. He's a very, very good brawler, and he would be super high up on the list if he actually had a useful gadget. His gadget is one of the worst gadgets in the game. If he actually had a strong gadget, he might even be the best brawler in the game since he can literally do everything. And hopefully, if he gets a second gadget, because it looks like every brawler might be getting a second gadget, it can be useful, and he's going to skyrocket up the rankings and probably be the best brawler and require a nerf. But anyways, it's going to crack open the top five. This is going to be our number five brawler. And let's hop into the elite four, which are the four brawlers that absolutely run the game right now. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys what it is. So coming in at number four and part of the elite four, we have Sprout. Now, as I said at the end of Carl, these four brawlers are above and beyond every single brawler in the game. These guys absolutely run it. And coming in at number four, we have Sprout. Now, Sprout, obviously, as you guys know, was the best brawler in the game for about a month. But then they nerfed his star powers, so who doesn't really have many useful star powers right now. Actually, none of his star powers are pretty useful, to be honest. They're not really that good. But he has a very strong gadget, which actually makes the little guy quite tanky. He can eat 2k health worth of grass. So if you think you're about to kill him, you can just walk in that grass and say, no, I'm going to eat it and gain some health. Kind of like photosynthesis, but I guess with grass, he eats some some stuff but anyways that was a really bad example but anyways um you know he's a very good brawler he's good in almost every single mode you can use him almost anywhere and he's cut got cape complete i couldn't english for a sec complete complete control of basically any game he's in so that being said this is going to start off our elite four brawlers let's hop into number three and show you guys the top three so coming in at number three and i really wanted to make this brawler number one as it's my favorite brawler in the game right now of course besides gene we still love you gene we forever will um, but this is the number three brawler in the game. It's going to be Surge. Now, Surge is an absolute beast right now. And everyone is annoyed by him. Now, he is really good. The top three or the top four even can be really interchangeable, depending on your play style and depending on what you'd like. But I asked 10 pro players, um, including myself, and we figured out that this is probably going to be the most likely list for top four. As the top 10 was really easy to make, but these four were really hard to juggle around. So the reason this brawler is going to be so low is because although it is the best brawler in the game once it reaches stage 4, at stage 1 it's just not very good. On a range map it's going to be a little bit more difficult to use. It's not as diverse as the other top 4 brawlers in the game. But this at max level is just an absolute beast. You cannot beat it once you get max level. The game is practically over. Surge is the best overtime brawler with open spaces once it's at level 4. It can teleport through walls. It can jump on people. It can jump away from shots. Teleport away from shots. It does so much good and so little bad. But unfortunately, it's going to just be at number 3 because of how easy and how good these top 2 brawlers are. So that being said, let's hop into it and let's show you guys the top 2 brawlers in Brawl Stars. So coming in at number 2 in my least favorite brawler in the game is going to be Mr. P. Now, I just despise this brawler because of how easy it is to play. Um, you know, there's one brawler that might be a little bit easier to play, but this one is just super, 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 super 
easy to play. You basically don't have to aim any shots. You can shoot over walls, you can bounce your shots over walls, and you have this little spammy turret that every single time your little thing dies that they have to waste their shots on, another brawler dies. In fact, in this game, we won so fast with Mr. P that I basically threw base this portion of our goal just to extend the video so I can actually explain to you guys how broken this brawler is. It's gadget is super good because after teams waste one, two, three shots to take out your porter, you can just click that gadget button when it's low health and make them waste another two, three, four, five shots on your porter. It's super annoying and it just, it, it's way too good. It has way too much range, um, especially if you're using that first star power. It's way too spammy, especially if you're using that second star power. It works absolutely anywhere. You can lane against any brawler as long as you play it correctly. And it's just super, super, super good. And I just don't like it, if I'm being honest. It's one of the lower skill brawlers in the game, which is the reason I don't like it very much. And I really do and would appreciate if they can nerf this brawler, because this brawler has indirectly given my favorite brawler gene a huge nerf. Because every single time you take out their porter shot or their little penguin looking thing, and you waste your gene shot, another new penguin spawns, and another new penguin spawns, and over and over and over, and a gene just cannot beat a Mr. P, especially when the Mr. P is just hiding behind the little porter shots and you can't pull it. But with that being said, this is going to be our number two brawler, so let's hop into number one and let's show you guys what it is. So coming in at number one, we have Mortis. Okay, I wish it was Mortis, but unfortunately, the number one brawler in the game is going to be Gale. Now, as fun of a brawler as Mortis is, hopefully one day it can be the number one brawler in the meta, but it is cur currently going to be Gale. Now, you guys know just how strong Gale is. Gale can beat any brawler at any range, no matter what circumstance. You hit, you do way too much damage from far, you do way too much damage to close. If a good brawler like Jackie, like ja I almost called her Jackie, like Jackie actually comes towards you and is about to kill you, all you need to do is click that little auto aim super button. You can just blow the Jackie away and say, no, you're not allowed near me and then just hit it from far because you can also do way too much damage for, from far for some reason. Both star powers are pretty good. The first one where you hit someone against the wall and stun it is probably better. And then of course, for whatever reason, this brawler can also, while being overpowered, just spawn jump pads. And now this completely on top of the fact that this brawler is OP changes the meta because if you're playing heist or something, you can literally just drop down a launch pad, play bull and Daryl and just use that launch pad, jump on the safe over and over and over. And anytime someone comes on your safe, your Gale is there to defend you. Gale is just an absolutely broken brawler. Besides Mr. P, it is my most hated brawler in the game. And I am very upset that it's in meta. But unfortunately it is, so we have to learn how to be good with it. But anyways, that is going to be it for my video. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I know you guys wanted to know who that mystery brawler was that isn't in the list. That was in every single list. And unfortunately, it is my homie Gene who did get the double nerf. And on top of the double nerf, the Mr. P penguins just counter it way too hard and they're way too in the meta for, for Gene to be in the top 10 right now. Gene is probably 11 or 12. It's not extinct. It's still around. We're still going to be using it a ton. But unfortunately, it's just not going to be a top 10 brawler right now. But anyways, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, always, as you guys know, hit the like button, hit the sub button, drop a comment down below. But that's going to be it. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Peace.